Hi everyone, welcome to Point Blank Music School. Today I'm here with a special guest, Christian Verla. How are you? Hi, very well. How are you? Good, 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 good. And today we're going to be looking at the Roland MC707. And you're going to give us a little bit of a demo of that first, aren't you? What's, uh, what's, what, what, are you, what, are you, um, what are you going to show us today? Yeah, actually I, I will create a techno track mm -hmm. from the beginning, from zero, track by track. And uh, I will make a demo of uh, how to use it in a live. And then I will also uh, use the TR6S, mm -hmm. like a, let's say DJ set, uh, recording some uh, of my tracks here in one of the samples and they're then mixing like a DJ set. So before it's like a demo and then like a DJ set, let's say. Awesome. And this is all completely in the box. There's no laptop. Yep. This, we've got a laptop here, but we're not using this for any of the music. This no. is just for, for us to use. But this is completely within this kind of ecosystem. Yeah, everything in the machines. Awesome. Well, let's have a little bit of a demo then. Thank you. Okay, so um, uh, first of all, I want to explain uh, the Roland Cloud because here we have uh, hundreds of softwares and plugins and thousands of sounds. So actually, uh, I'm using the Xenology, which is a very good one. And then let's open it here in Logic, where you can see Xenology here. And this is all the sounds you have, every kind of sounds. And you can model the sounds and then import to your SD card, put in the sounds in the TR6 or 707. And the good thing is we can use uh, FM sounds, synthesis sounds, but we can also import samples in the two machines. So it's perfect when you want to, first of all, you can use uh, in the studio to create tracks and then put all the tracks in the DAW. But also when you are making live, you can import all, all your samples and use the synthesis samples and everything in the two machines, which is perfect. And with the synthesis, you can also change parameters and stuff like yeah. that. It's not just like a, a sound, right? It's not like a sample. Exactly. Yeah, you have the oscillators and uh, you can use both. You can make a combination between the synthesis mm -hmm. and the oscillators, uh, VFA and everything. But also you have combinations of samples. Mm -hmm. So for example, you can combine a sample of your favorite kick with uh, one oscillator of one TR909 kick mm -hmm. and mix, for example, the high frequencies of one kick and the low frequencies of the second, and you make this combination. For example, for techno, is fantastic. What's, um, what have you done today so far? Like, what have you prepared for us to uh, give us a little bit of a demo? So I have one of my tracks. Uh, uh, we are playing just with the whole tracks uh, uh, playing, but after I will create from zero mm -hmm. a new track similar like this one. So not exactly the same, but I want to explain uh, to everybody how you are creating the, the track for the live and how you can uh, use the effects and mix like a mixer and use, for example, the knobs you can use as equalizer mm -hmm. or you can assign different effects or whatever you want in every every knobs, which is very versatile. Awesome. Do you mind giving us a demo of this song that you prepared and then uh, yeah. play, play it for us and then we'll, we'll yeah. break it down? Sure. This, this is uh, the, the track I created for today, and uh, we will start from the beginning, track by track, to, to create this one. Awesome, awesome. Cool. So where do we start? So let's uh, start, for example, uh, we go to a new project. So here you can see, you can load your tracks, new, set, sample, write, everything. So let's say we have here like, um, like I 
the, the group box, the, the, the nice thing is you can use, you can make a whole life with this and you can use all the instruments. You don't have only drum machines or synthesizers. You have plenty of possibilities. So we create a new project. Go here from zero. Okay. So let's start with this, the first track. So we create, we go to the sound, we select first the track, we want to upload the sound, go to sound, and here you can see we have preset projects, wave files, let's take for example 808, and so we have two ways to record. The first one is uh, with sequencer, mm -hmm. and the second one you can record in live, so let's use first the sequencer, so we put here the kick, sorry, <laughs> the kick, <laughs> this, and this one, we remove it. So now we have the kick, and then we can, for example, put this tom, okay, here we have the filter, we have the first track, so it's raw, so we want to, for example, let's say go to the equalizer to give a little bit more loud sound, so we go to the track and you see we have, in general, we have EQ or MIDI, so we select EQ, go on and we go to the low gain, let's say, I don't know, 4 dBs. So this is before. And this is after. But I'm listening, this is not a 808, it's a 909. Now yes. <laughs> okay. So we go to the sound again. And here, for example, we can also uh, equalize and change all the parameters in the different paths. So, for example, here, let's say we have the tom, it's very low. So, we are going to uh, equalize, let's go before, here we pitch down, then it seems more like a bass. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then we go a little bit down with the left. Then we give more priority to the kick. Let's say here, okay. If we want to, for example, equalize the kick, we go to the kick, and here you see selected, and the same thing, you can cause, level, put effects, reverb, whatever you need. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we have the first track. Let's go to the second track. Now, for example, we go to the sound, we select, let's say, I don't know, maybe a bass, like this. Let's go to the bass. This one is nice. Here we have the octave. Okay, and now we want to record in line. So we put quantize, then we have all the notes on the grid and record. let's say each row right now, so I like always every track to create a little bit of atmosphere. So for example, in this one, we can select, let's say, uh, we go to the sound, ah, change the sound, okay, here, okay, we select it. Yeah, this happens because sometimes when you take the sound and you don't push the sound, mm -hmm. it takes to the default. Oh, so okay. <laughs> that's why it happens, but it's it's fine. So here we go to the effect. Are there a lot of effects that you can choose from? Yeah, you have the internal effects in each track, mm -hmm. but also you have a lot of very nice effects in the proper sound. 
So we are going here to the oscillators and you see here we can select these effects. So for example we can go to and uh, we have tons of really really nice say flanger or chorus. Then we see now the sound is a little bit high. So we go here to the track, select and again we go to equalizer. But now we want to use the gain. We go to the gain. So here you can equalize, gain, levels, effects, everything. And then you, you create like the mix in your track. So now we have this track ready. So we saw the sounds, for example, the dramatins and the tones. Now mm -hmm. we have also, let's prepare the track three. And you see we have tone drum, compressed drums, which is really interesting also, and then the loops. So now we are going to use a drum plus compressor. And uh, we go with the channel and select the sound. He say, ah, I already used here, so let's use a drum and go to the sound. And for example, let's select uh, 80s kit. Uh, let's take this two, for example. And we record. Quicker, go to the game down a little bit, add some reverb here. Perfect. And you can map these ones, the yeah. modulation to yeah. whatever you want it to be, right? Yeah, let's let's see right now. We can for example map in these three knobs. Mm -hmm. Let's say we are going to this here, we go to the sound. say we are going to use one of the effects here. So here we have all the effects. We can we can use isolators, equalizer, filters. Let's use for example this super filter. So if you want to assign uh, the different parameters to the knobs, we are going to knob assign and then this is this knob. So let's use the cutoff. Perfect. For the second one, we will use the resonance, super filter resonance, this one, and this super filter cutoff. Okay. Can you record that in? The yeah. Automation? Yeah. You have this motion, uh, so when when you record the motion, you can record exactly what we, we are doing. So let's try. Okay. Is it automatically quantized as well? Yep, yeah. You can select, you can quantize or make in just uh, random you know but it's really nice if we don't want to use it just off the motion and that's it oh that's really cool you can turn all the automation yep. on off. yeah yeah uh. even with the tunnels you can automatize when you are going up and down with the tunnels which is very interesting it's uh yeah. you know it's, <laughs> it's uh, like a daw yeah, yeah yeah exactly okay so we have this one created now let's go to use a sample so Perfect. Let's use the sample, for example, here. So we go to the looper. Mm -hmm. And this is really nice also because you can edit and make whatever you want with the loops. So we go to the sound, wave files. And here I have, as mentioned before, some of the samples and sounds I, I took from the cloud, Roland Cloud and the Xenology. 
and here we can preview. So preview. I have different loops. This, this is all my music I have here. So, for example, in, in a live, you don't, you you have anything prepared like a track, and suddenly you see, ah, oh, I want to play this one. So you put your track in the channel, and you can use like a new track just in one channel, which is fantastic. So now let's select this. Example. Is this all loaded up via SD? Yeah, everything SD. You can also directly from the USB, you can put the sounds in the machine, but I prefer to use USD. Then I have different kind of banks and sounds in the different USBs, uh, SD cards. So I'm more prepared for different lives. And okay, we select this one, import, and we have here. So by default, um, the loop here uh, in these tops, you have assigned, the, for example, the pitch, the pitch time, the decay of the loop, and of course the reverb. So let's say we want to use a filter in this, in this sample, which is very interesting. So we go to, we imported the track. When you imported it, is it already, um, is it already uh, timed? for your project, like the BPM and everything like that? It's automatic. Automatic? Yeah. Uh, this is really good uh, thing also because it works just uh, like uh, an Ableton when you mm -hmm. put your your sample and if you put 130, it's going to 100. It's warping, so it's mm. fantastic. Very, very easy and very quick. So we go here to the effects and let's select, for example, let's say multi-mode filter. This is very interesting. So again, we go to the knob assign, and we can assign this to the first one, and let's say tone or color. Uh, in multi uh, multi mode filter, tone is like the cutoff, mm -hmm. and, and the color is like the resonance. So, so what kind of filter is that? It sounds quite a uh, multi mode is like you filter low and high in the in the same time, and it's crossing the frequencies, right, right, which right. is is very interesting also. So we put this one in the first and this one in the second one. So color, let's. You see, you filter low and high, and here again, is like middle and high. It's very interesting this one, mm. and here you have the resonance. Okay. Perfect. Maybe a little bit of bigger. Perfect. And now let's go, of course, with the hi hats. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's very interesting. Otherwise, very important for our techno tracks. If we don't have hi hats, no good at all. Can you actually um, have multiple? sequences for example so sometimes you know for a hi-hat you want to have it on you know every beat or you want to have it on every second beat or something and then sometimes for a hi-hat you it's nice to have in the build-up and you want to have every beat selected yeah can you change between like different sequences or something yeah you can you have different patterns mm -hmm. so you can use uh in the scenes th the scenes are like different patterns with the same sound and you can change but you have also very interesting thing is the last step so let's say if you have uh, your hi-hat in 16 steps mm -hmm and you use the last step, you can use, for example, 12. And because he's doing the 16, 12 in the 16, he's changing randomly. Yeah. So this is very beautiful to create different hi-hat every time, not every time the same, you know? So you have these this both uh, options, the, the scenes or the last step. Mm -hmm. Can you choose how many um, steps for the last step? So it can be like 13, even if you wanted to, not 12. Or uh, you can use here uh, four steps, but you can divide. Uh, divide so it, yeah, four sure. by four, you can use 16, and then you can use a lot of uh, patterns, which mm. is very interesting. But also the, the nice thing in the 707, it's all these patterns you can copy and paste in the next clip, and then you can change directly the clips. You don't need to, because you know when you are making live, you need to be very quick. So if you are going internally to the sequencer and change the last step or things like that, you are losing time. So the best thing is to have different clips in the same track and you can use the same sound, kit sound in the same track, but also you can 
change the sound depending on the clip, which is amazing. So let's go here with the... And now we are going to do here in the... Library here. Okay. We have the sound here. Okay, we have now. And let's uh, give a little bit of in answer to make crispy the, the hi-hats, which is very used on the techno. When you crease the hi-hats and you use a little bit of distortion, it makes a little bit dirty mm -hmm. and it's more pure techno, you know. So let's go into the sound here. And we go, for example, yeah, let's use the MFX. And again, we go to the... This is really nice also when, when you use auto wall or LFO or things like that for the hi-hats. Then you, you have a little bit more movement. But here I, I like very much the enhancer. A ring modulator is also very nice. Guitar amp is really nice also, I love it, let's use it. So we can choose here, okay, and also we have by default the, the filter, mm -hmm. so let's... So it's very high, we go to the channel here. Okay, so now we have this, and uh, now I want to use one of my uh, created sounds in the Xenology, then the people can listen how you can modulate the sound and, and use in the live, because it's, it's very interesting. So we go with this channel, and let's select tone, go to the sound. And you see here we can select preset, project, WAV file, so here I will use from one of my projects where I used one of the sounds imported from Xenology and you see? So this movement and like a small chorus and everything I created there and then I imported my, my sound in the SD and then here and you can change like all the parameters? Sound. Yeah, you can change everything. When you go here to the sound, so I select it, you go to sound and you see you have, again, all the oscillators. This is a really uh, interesting thing from Xenology because you are exporting uh, all the oscillators and everything and then you can use it directly in the 707. Also in TR6S because I, I'm focused in this one, but TR6S is like a baby brother of the TR8S, and it's amazing. You can make exactly the same things. So, let's record something with this. And finally, we are using um, a track, one of my techno tracks, where I cut uh, 16 steps and I made a wave to use later as like when you are playing as a DJ with track, live, track, live. Mm. And it's very interesting because it's like when you are using three or four turntables. You are using your live creation. Here I have one of my tracks live creation and here I have another of my tracks so you have a lot of combinations so let's go here to the track go to looper and sound wave files and this is of course uh, gonna be time stretched as well so you can exactly. start up whatever and it will be in time with yeah. whatever you've created 
Yeah, we can see right now, for example. Let's say this one. So we import. So when you, when you are importing your own tracks, are these tracks specifically cut to be used with the MC seven hundred seven, or you just upload it? Or you just using the you know, if I bought a beatboard or something like that? Yeah. Do you, uh, I use my tracks because uh, when it's your live J, let's mm. say like that, I, I like to use my tracks. But of course, if you are making a live set or DJ set and you want to use different tracks, of course, because of the internal memory, uh, you can use a maximum limited, but you, ha you can upload a lot of sounds. And uh, that's why I like to cut in eight, eight uh, steps. Then you have the, s the sound. And then you can also, you can use filters and everything. And it's like uh, you have the, the whole track there, mm -hmm. but at the end it's just uh, a pattern. So for example, with the tempo, we go here. Now we have 128. So if we move in the tempo, you see, you don't feel the rocking, mm. the, the warping, sorry. So you can go. So the pitch is kept consistent the whole time. Exactly, that's amazing. Really. It sounds really good too, because sometimes if, uh, when you're DJing and you use the master tempo, yeah. it does, you can hear that it's being turned yeah. on, but that sounds very clean. Yeah, the internal warping you know, of the 707, it's very clean, it's not distortion too much the sound or the tracks, so it's, it's very nice. Okay, so we have everything ready. And now let's listen the TR6S, where I prepare just a track, a pattern, and here I made the same. I just upload a sample track. So this is my pattern. See? And here, for example, you have this. All the things you have in the TR8S, you have here. Same sound and gene, and everything is fantastic. And here, I have my track. Okay, so when I when I start to make the demo, I start with this track, then I start to mix like a DJ set, this one, and then I start to like a third turntable, mixing this one, and at the end mixing this one, and that's it. Awesome, awesome. <laughs> okay, so let's go.
perfect. Awesome. Thank you so much. That was amazing, by the way. I love that. Ah, please do. Yeah. Sorry for <laughs> the MIDI things. It's oh, it's okay. I mean, it always, show it must always go happens. on. <laughs> but that just proves it's all real, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. of course. No <laughs> computer, all machines. I create the track right now, so yeah. Well, we've got one question here. It says, um, could you sync this machine up with stuff like CDJs or actual DJ players? Is there a way to sync them together? Or yeah. have you ever done that before? Yeah, because you have uh, external sync with the clock, mm -hmm. and you can also sync um, uh, through the, the mixer because now, for example, the Pioneers with the USB, you can sync everything and it's taking the clock. So oh, the MIDI clock. Yeah, yeah exactly. Right, so right, it's right. very interesting. Right. Do you ever use anything else besides just the uh, 707? Do you ever like add like a turntable in or something? Or yeah, um, I have a live show called Vara Live and I use uh, touch screens and push the roller and everything. And yeah, it's, it's uh, difficult because uh, you have to set up everything before the show. It's not as easier as with the 707, but I'm very happy with this with this machine and also 6S because it's small, you can bring everywhere. And if you take this one, the 8S and this, you have several channels to mm. make a really proper life. So, but yes, uh, before I used a lot of stuff, uh, Maki 24 channels, crazy. And now with this is super easy. Yeah, it looks really, really easy and very easy to use as well. Uh, I think something like that would be really good for people that want to start doing live shows as well. Because yeah. a lot of people, uh, don't know where to start when they want to start doing live music performance. If you're making a lot of your own music, for example, and you want to start playing that music out live, this makes it a really easy choice to use because, as you said, you can even just use it as like a sample exactly. deck as well. Yeah. Yeah. And you can just put your stems in there if you wanted to. Yeah, everything. And, and you've got very, very uh, powerful effects that you yeah. can use. Well, I, I create just a track in five minutes, but if you take your time in the studio and you prepare everything properly, it's fantastic. You have, uh, it's, uh, infinite possibilities to make a life. And the Zencore feature is, is really, really great, especially if you use stuff like the Roland Cloud and all yeah. that kind of stuff. If you use yeah. a lot of Roland Cloud in your own production, it's it's very, very straightforward to go into something like this. Because yeah. you can bring all your sounds and all exactly. of your... Exactly. And the thing is, uh, you are bringing the sounds, but you are bringing also the oscillators and everything you modeled in the, in the computer, in your plugin. Uh, you are using exactly the same controls here. And you, of course, you can use different kind of filters, and it's it's nice. It's super quick because yeah. before to to set up a, a live, <laughs> you took maybe two weeks preparing everything. And with this kind of uh, machines right now, you can take one or two days preparing everything, and you have set it up. And everything's all in the one unit yeah. because before, you know, you're saying you're doing a live set, you got yeah. like three different things here. You got effects unit here, yeah. you got a sequencer here, and all that kind of stuff. And this just controls everything at and once. Fantastic for your back pain yeah. also. <laughs> <laughs> it's not very weight. It's fantastic. Awesome, awesome. Well, if you guys want to find out more about that, make sure you go and check out Roland MC707. Just type it into Google, find it, and we'll find all the details down below as well. Uh, Christian, if they want to follow you, where can they uh, where can they check out your music and? Yeah, my website it's uh, christianbarella.com, and there you have all the links for Facebook and all the social media. Awesome, awesome. Thank you so much again for Pleasure. coming and uh, thank joining you everybody. us here. No worries. Thank you so much. Take it easy. This is DJ Ben out for Point Blank Music School. If you want to learn more about Point Blank Music School and what we do and our courses, or if you just want to go check us out, check out www.pointblankmusicschool.com. Take it easy. <laughs>